Okay, we start with question number one. The diagram shows a charge of uh, positive 5 microcoulomb and uh, negative 5 microcoulomb situated at the point P and Q respectively, X in the midway between P and Q. Which the following describe the electric field and electric potential at X. Okay. So, uh, in this case, uh, we know that uh, electric field will be uh, going towards positive going towards the negative like this okay going this way this is electric field uh, and uh, it means that uh, at point x okay electric field moving towards q q okay and now we have a two uh, pos uh, possible answer by the uh, a or b so the trick potential because it's at the x, okay, it's midway, midway. So at this point, it will be a zero v, eh? zero potential difference, no potential difference actually, okay, because uh, it's cancel by left, cancel by left, and cancel by right. So it's actually zero, uh, zero v. So answer will be a. So towards q and the trick potential will be zero. Okay, how many of you got correct for uh, correct answer for number one? Okay, only Abi, eh? Kihang, Yukin. What sir? What? Okay. You got correct answer for number one. Answer for number one is A. You got correct or wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So move move to question number two. Okay, uh, you have two microfarad capacitor and four microfarad capacitor are connected in series uh, on the eight volt battery. So what is the value of energy stored in the U? Uh, it's a ratio energy stored in two microfarad over energy stored in four microfarad. Okay. So in this case, ah. Uh, Energy stored in capacitor is half C V squared, or you can use half Q over C. Okay, so let's try uh, the the ratio between one over uh, Q over C one one over Q over C two. Now you have a uh, one over Q one C two, so you end up with C two over C one. Then you have four over two, right? Uh, 4 over 2 is a ratio only on the on the magnitude or the capacitance of the capacitor and you have uh, 2 ok so answer is C so actually this is a, a tricky question actually it's not you can ignore the 8 foot battery ok uh, question number 3 a uh, point charge separated by distance R in, in the air and another point charge explains the force as repulsion of F so a charge so we know that a uh, force of the charge is coulomb's law f equals to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught uh, r squared and it's we times with q1 times q2 right okay so f is it directional to 1 over r squared so answer is supposedly to be b right 1 over R squared ok so that's uh, question number 3 uh, any question until this point do you have any question no sir no ok so number 4 uh, capacitance of parallel plate capacitor can be increased by reducing ok Abi which one you pick A, B, C, D Abi I pick uh, as I check my answer. I choose uh, D, sir. D, area of each plate. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Kihang? Or Wang Yu? Yukin? Wang Yu. We got Yang Yu here. Yukin, which one you pick? What? Question number four. Are you are you watching the the zoom or not? 
Question number four, yeah. which one you pick? Another meeting going on. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Yukin, which one you pick? A, B, C, D? Not C, yeah. Uh. B or not? Don't know. <laughs> B. You can pick B. Yeah, yeah okay, C. Okay. B or not? Or D. I'll be six D. Kihang says C and uh, you can say B. Yeah? Okay. So you see how can we so, uh, we get the answer is by C equals to this a paraplate. Uh, remember paraplate? Paraplate capacitor. As a not A over as not A over D. Okay. Epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space. A is the area of the capacitor and D will be the the distance between the capacitor, the parallel plate. Okay, so um, so it says that increase by reducing. So C increase by reducing the D. Okay, so answer is C. Yeah? By uh, the separation between the plates. You decrease the separation between the plates, the capacitance will be increased. Okay, so answer is C. Yeah, C. Okay, a single uh, metal wire length L concession S and resistance R conductance G and resistivity uh, sigma and conductivity is uh, rho. Which of the following expression for the sigma is valid. Okay, this is a uh, it's a lot of work to do. Okay, first of all, uh, conductivity, no, uh, resistivity, stability, Vty. Okay, sigma equals to one over uh, is epicoral of uh, one over sigma okay and sigma uh, oh sorry it's not sigma it's rho conductivity rho and is a uh, is l over rs actually sigma equals to r uh, a over l wait r a over l r a over l where s is the cross sectional a R away. Is it correct? R L A. Ah, correct lah. Yeah, because R equals to sigma L over A. So uh, yeah, correct. Okay, A R L L. Okay, so L over R S. Okay, in this case, so we have one over R equals to um, you know, one over R times with L over S. Okay, so 1 over R, 1 over R, 1 over the resistance is actually a conductance. Okay, it's a conductance. So you have G L over S. Okay, one more thing uh, in the second equation, R equals to uh, rho L over S, actually over here, we're taking towards uh, the second part of the equation, R equals to rho L over S, uh, equals to L over S, and equals to, wait, uh, R over S, equals to R over rho. Okay, you can see here. Then, this L over S, the same as this side, okay, will be equals to uh, you have a rho equals to a sigma equals to g r over rho so answer is uh, g l over rho g r over rho so answer is d okay g l over g r over rho okay because it's, the, the question says that you have to use all the symbols over here. L, S, R, and G, Sigma, and Rho. Okay. A bit tricky. Uh, anyone got correct on this uh, question? Correct answer for this question? No. No one. 
Okay. No, sir. Yeah, it's very hard actually. It's not hard, but it's very tricky. You have to involve uh, like two or three uh, equation. Okay. Uh, question number six. I think this is easy, right? Okay. Uh, you know that uh, when the diagram shows the current flows to a flat, flat metal piece of constant thickness and those shape is shown so it has a, a small area and then we have a bigger area the area is increased and then goes back smaller and uh, to, to its uh, original uh, size of cross-section area the drift velocity electron causing P equal R and V1, V2 and V3 respectively which is uh, correct so we know that uh, from the formula uh, drift velocity I equals to Navi okay, and AVE and uh, this is small e, Navi. So, um, and V, this V is equals to uh, 1 over N A E. Okay. So, V is direct, directly proportional to 1 over area. So, you, uh, you decrease the area. And you have a bigger uh, velocity, or you increase the area, you have a lesser velocity. So in this case, the answer is A. Okay, at V1, at V1, V2, and V3, uh, V1 equals to V3, V1 equals to V3, but bigger than V2 because A at V2 is higher than uh, V on the So answer not C as well. Answer is uh, A V1 and V2 Increase the area, velocity will be decreased So it will be fast over here Fast over here will be slow at the middle Okay So the answer might be C, right, sir? Answer is A. <laughs> V1 and V3 is equal. V1 and V3 is correct, is equal. But it cannot be lesser than V2. Because at Q, oh, okay, okay. V will be slower. Okay, I understand this. Okay. I still... Okay, the diagram shows the resistance of voltmeter is 1998. Oh, it's a, it looks like a year number. 1998. The internal resistance of cell is negligible. So, uh, see, uh, actually, a, it's a trick question. If you, uh, if you start to to take this 1998 ohm as a as a resistance of voltmeter, uh, you will fall into the trick question. Actually, you have to put one more. 1998 at the top okay so actually you have to combine 1998 from the uh, resistance of voltmeter to the 1998 on the circuit okay you have to combine them okay so uh, equivalent resistance uh, between the the resistance of voltmeter and the and the uh, resistance in the circuit so you have combine if you combine both, both of them, okay, uh, it is a uh, parallel series. Both of them are in parallel, okay. So if you combine uh, resistance by voltmeter to the resistance of the circuit, you have, uh, you have answer is nine 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 ohm, okay. If you combine, it's uh, one over R one plus 1 over R2 and equals to 1 over RT okay so it will be 999 ohm so come back uh, we're going to going to um, combine with the resistance in the circuit that is 450 ohm so we have to use the uh, uh, potential uh, we call voltage divider formula uh, V equals to R 1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R2 plus and times with P. So we have 999 divided by 999 plus 450 okay, times with 
How many volt? It's 8 volt. So you have answer will be what the answer will be? Number 7. Uh, 5.5 volt. So answer is D. Okay. I think Kihan, can you you, you you got the answer? Or you keen? Or you fall into the trickiness of the question? You keen and Gihang? Uh, is the answer donkey? Yes, answer is donkey. Yeah. Okay, yeah? So you didn't assume yeah. that 1998 is the... This 1998 is the voltmeter. It's a, a resistance of voltmeter. Right. Okay. Any question? Abi, you have a question? No, sir. Uh, no. Okay, go to number 8. A uh, cell is connected to high resistance of a uh, high resistance voltmeter E. This E, high resistance voltmeter. Uh, a 12 resistor. 12 ohm resistor, uh, this is 12 ohm resistor, and the switch S I shown diagram. The diagram shows the variation of voltmeter reading V with the time. So when the switch or when the, when the switch is open, this is open, means that like this. The voltmeter of the the meter shows that E is 3.0. But when we close the switch, it shows that the uh, the battery uh, it is not battery uh, the cell shows is a 2.8 volts so now we want to find the internal resistance of the cell e so switch or uh, switch off uh, no switch open we have 3.0 volts uh, s closed means that switch is closed we have current running throughout the 12 ohm uh, the the cell shows that it has a 2.8 ohm, 2.8 volt, as shown in the voltmeter. Okay. So again, we write back what it says. E equals to 3.0 volt. Okay. Because it is uh, the S is this close at that point E, and V equals to 2.8. Two point eight volt. Okay, two point eight volt. Oh, no, no, no. It was two. We cannot use two point eight because V is difference between three and two. So it's two difference between zero point two. Wait, uh, it's, the 12. it's 2.8 uh, It's 2.8, uh, it's not 2, uh, it's 2.8 V is 2.8 uh, Then uh, R is actually uh, 12 ohm Okay, 12 ohm Okay so using uh, I, we want to find the current. I equals to V over R. And then you have a 2.8 divided by a 12. So you have 2.8. 2.8 divided by 12. Uh, we have uh, 7 over 30. 7 over 30. Okay, so E against E equals to uh, I R plus R. Okay, so 3.0 I is 7 over 30, R is a uh, 12 plus R small r is uh, it means that the internal resistance of the cell. Okay, so you have a uh, how much is it? Mm. 3 times 30 divided by 7 ok so 12 yeah 12.85 
uh, equals to 12 plus r so r is 0 0.85 okay oh, does it have any answer okay something wrong with the question <laughs> something wrong with the question okay so answer is r equals to 0 0.85 Okay, I think this is a bonus mark for you. Mm, let's check the with the schema. Okay, there's a something wrong with the schema. It says that this one is two point two point zero. Okay, so answer is actually zero point eight five ohm. Okay. Uh, any question, Shelly? Do you have any question, anyone? No, sir. No. Okay. So, now move to question number 9. A proton will be charge of 1.6 times 10 power negative 19. Okay, negative 19. Coulomb. Move with the speed of the direction perpendicular to... Uh, this is a perpendicular magnetic field of 1.2 Tesla. What is the force acting on the proton? So, F equals to uh, B, Q, V sine theta okay so b is 1.2 1.6 times 10 power of uh, negative 19 and 2 times 10 power of uh, 6 sine theta sine 90 degrees so answer is 3.84 times 10 power of negative 13 uh, newton so answer is a okay Mm, it doesn't ask for the direction. Only ask for how much the force. So we no need to use the right hand flaming rule or left hand flaming rule. Uh, question number ten. A signal as enters length L cosine A carries current R uniform magnetic flux density near the middle. Uh, is parallel to the axis and value of uh, unit N I over L. What is the magnitude of flux through the cross sectional in this region okay so it says that if we have a uh, cross sectional area uh, in the middle we have u not not u not and i over l so what will be the magnetic reflux cross section of this region so what will be the uh, the this area over here okay so area sigma equals to b a and b a is a is a uh, u not n i a over l so answer is b okay move to the next question question number 11 which uh, following graph represent the duration of magnetic flux density b due to constant current and strong straight wire resistance r uh, we have a b Magnetic flux B and relation with the R. Okay, so from the formula we know that B equals to U not I over two pi R, and B is directly proportional to one over R. So answer is uh, A. Okay, one answer is A. Okay. A coil of wire arranged with its plane perpendicular to uniform magnetic field density B. Uh, when the radius of the coil increases from A to B to the time in the uh, change of T, what is the magnitude of induced MF in the coil? Okay, question number 12. So, uh, so E, oh, running out of time. E equals to d flux over dt. Okay, in a negative there, because the uh, induced MF negative d flux over dt. So equals to b times pi uh, b squared minus a squared 
divided by change of t so we have i b b squared minus a squared divided by change of t so answer is b okay acquire wire itself inductance uh, with a battery voltage uh, with a falling graph for variation current with time so this is a current it's not the induced current you're scanning for the current uh, you know that in the when the switch is off the switch is off will be uh, the lens law it says that it will be opposed to uh, the changing of the current current will goes down it will be pushing up the current back okay so back emf will cause the current to increase slowly and h is maximum so it will be c okay because it will be pushing up back the current when you switch it off the current will goes goes down and by the lens door the induced current will push up back uh, the current uh, to its uh, normal but well, before we have a uh, current that drops so answer is c uh, 14 the mean power mean power of the resistor through r so what is the average power supply to resistor of so you see that uh, this is a problem i not and uh, negative 2 i naught it means that it was not balanced it's supposed to be the average is on this side right should be around here it cannot be because it shifted to downwards the 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 sign of with the square graph has been shifted to the downwards huh? so the mean power we have to take from the mean so mean power equals to half okay times over p p on uh, on top and plus a p on the bottom All right it should be on top plus the bottom then you have to to divide it by 2 okay because you want to take average between the 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 top and the bottom the uh, crest and the trough so half half it will be 1 square not 2 r plus uh, Two i not square times r. Okay, you see that I'm taking the value of the top and the bottom. So you have two point five. Uh, two point five. Two point five i square r. So answer is d. And last. The secondary coil uh, of the ideal transformer RMS of current 2.08 to load resistor or resistance 6.0 ohm. The, the RMS current primary is 8 ampere. Why is the RMS potential different across the primary coil? So uh, RMS potential across secondary coil. So this is RMS secondary coil equals to 2, 3 ampere times with 6. So it will be 12 volts so this is secondary coil so what uh, primary v primary will v secondary equals to i secondary over i primary and then uh, v primary equals to uh, i over s i over p times that with vs so you have 2.8 times with 12 and answer is 3 volts so answer is a okay that will be the answer. You can any problem you can? You can? No. No, sir. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to stop at this point. Any question? For question uh suck no, I mean uh cogitative question? Kihang? Uh Abi? No sir. No sir, okay. So tomorrow uh no question. Is a uh, Saturday tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, Monday is a uh, off day, right? For for our physics, so we see you at Tuesday. Right, as proposed by the timetable, we have a holiday on. Uh, we we are off on on Monday, so we're going to see you. I'm going to see you on Tuesday. I uh, see you for okay, this. <laughs> Actually, we have a what? Three days uh, holiday, eh? right? First. Okay, so see you on Tuesday.
with a structure. Make, sh make sure you have done the structure. Okay, before we start so. the, the class. Okay, see you. Thanks, sir. Okay.